In today's video, we've got 5 simple drills that will change everything about your fairway woods. From cutting out the slice to stopping the hook, there's a drill in here for you. So get ready and step up to the tee because we're about to show you how to smash your fairway woods. What's up guys, Lou here for Golf Avenue and we're back in the sim today with Nick, our in-house PG of Canada professional. He's here today to show you five drills that'll help you master your fairway wood. Nick, what have you got in store for us? So I have five drills. First of all, there's the wall drill that will show you great posture throughout your swing. The second of all, I have what I call the 2T drill. That will show you good contact uh, when you're coming down in your swing at impact. After that, we have the reverse club drill. That's going to show you how to have a nice tempo throughout the swing. For people that slice the ball, I have the trail hand on top drill. And for them who hooks the ball, I have the most popular one, the Rory drill, the split hand drill. To help you better understand each of these drills, we'll have Nick break them down for you. Before we get into this one, we want to let you know that we're looking to provide you with even more quality golf content. So if you want to see more of this, make sure to like and subscribe to Golf Adding Channel and comment down to let us know what you'd like to see in the future. It's the best way for you to be heard and seen. Now that we've got that cover, back to our drills. Nick, what are we talking with? Yeah, so let's start with a strong base and let's talk about posture. Posture is key when it comes to striking your fairway woods. If you look at the best players in the world, they always look completely balanced when they're hitting a strike. This is why Nick decided to focus on posture with this one since it's so crucial to your performance. So first up, we have the wall drill. There's two variations of this. I'll show you the first one. It'll put your rear end on the wall, cut your club in half with your hands. And the goal here is to keep your butt on the wall as long as possible. So you'll swing up, see how it just rolls on this wall. Coming down, same thing. Most of you, you'll either get off of this wall, making you stand up and top the shot, or you'll fall in front, making you cut the ball or hit like very steep on it. Again, take your golf posture, cut the club in half, swing up, roll on the floor, swing down, roll. So that's gonna make you cover the ball uh, way more. Second variation, you'll put your head on the wall, okay? And the goal here is just to keep your head on the wall. The only thing I don't want to see is your head staying really down. Give your head a bit of freedom and make it rotate around your spine angle. Get a bit more rotation. Then coming down, I'll be into this position right here. And that's the wall drill. Now that you've got good posture and you're strong on your legs when hitting your clubs, it's time to look at the point of contact when it comes to carry with. One of the most common issues when it comes to golfers is hitting the ground before making contact with the golf ball. When it comes to fairway wood, it's especially important to hit the ball first and then the ground. So this first drill from Nick is going to help us out figure our point of contact. So Nick, what are we looking for here? Next up, we have the two tee drill. For this drill, you need two golf avenue tees and a ball. Uh, this drill will really help you to hit clean contacts with your fairway wood. Uh, most amateurs or beginners think that they have to sweep up on it with the fairway wood, but that's a misconception. You really have to cover the ball and hit down on it. So for this drill, take your two tees, put them in the ground. You'll put the ball two inches away from it, so like a, a thumb and a half away from those tees. You want the tees in front of it. And the goal here is to hit the ball first and then dig down uh, the tees in the ground, okay? So most of you will either sweep up on it. Right here, we wanna really cover it and hit down on those tees. That's how it's done. All right, now that we've covered posture and point of contact in your swing, it's time to look at your actual swing. So when it comes to tempo, it can play a crucial role. An off-tempo swing can result in a less than powerful strike or even you hitting the ground before the ball. So if you want to avoid that, we're going to look at next drill. So what's up with this next drill? Next drill is the uh, tempo drill, upside down club drill. With your wood, it's really important to have a nice tempo. You really want to let the club do the work for you. So you'll take your club, Take it by the head, take your natural golf grip. And the goal here is to see where this sound is, okay? I want to hear it after the ball, okay? Because many of you are really quick coming down, which makes the club not react well coming to the ball. So I want to see you come, make a nice backswing, start to rotate, and from here, you want to hear that whoosh at the ball, at least, not before. So many of you, you'll hear it here, Okay, but I want to hear it after. Okay, 
okay? Just time your hands a bit better. So at impact, you really want to be into extension and that's where you want to hear that whoosh. That's how it's done. By this point, your whoosh game should have improved drastically. Your base should be stronger than ever, your impact's crisper than ever, and your swing smoother than ever. Now, we're looking to deal with one of the most dreaded problems for golfers, the slice. Fortunately for you, Nick has got the perfect drill to deal with this. So what are we looking for this time? This drill is really pretty slices out there. Uh, many beginners and amateurs will have this external forearm rotation going up, okay? What that does, it makes your club open up, and when you swing, you'll get to this open face position that at impact. So to fix that, take your trail hand. For me, it's my left one. For right, it's going to be your right hand. So I'll take my left hand, I'll simply put it on the side of this grip here, okay? The objective here is not to get that trail hand underneath that grip coming up, okay? So if you slice the ball a lot, probably your forearm externally rotates like this, right? So the goal here is to keep this on top of the grip, see? Now that you're swinging your fairway was better than ever, there's only one more drill left for us to cover before we let you go. We just showed you how to cure your slices with your fairway wood, but Nick has one more drill for people who are dealing with the opposite, which is the hook. So Nick, can you tell us more about this last drill? For our last drill, we have the split hand drill, also named the Ori drill. This is really good for you who hooks the ball a lot. Basically, if you hook the ball, it's either two things. You're coming way too inside, or either your face is really close at impact. The Roy drill will help you with the inside path, okay? So basically an inside path, what that is, when you're swinging, your hands get behind you. And so you have to go inside to out to go sweep that ball, okay? So with this Roy drill, you'll take your trail hand, put it on top of the club on the shaft. The goal here is to rehearse some swings. If you feel this hand and your elbow here, your trail elbow get in front of you. So just do a couple of these, okay? If you'd hook the ball, you'd feel this, okay? So this is really go up, come down. You wanna feel this really in front of you. That's how it's done. With all the drills covered in this video, you should be able to elevate your fairwood skills when you're out in the course. Now, before we let you go, we wanna take a look at each one of them one more time. First up, we have the wall drill, which helps you stay on top of the ball. Next up, we've got the T-drill, which helps you with your impact point on the ground. Yeah. After that, we have the reverse club drill, which helps you get the best tempo for your uh, fairway wood swing. Four, the trail hand on top will help you cut down on slices when you're hitting your fairway wood. And last but not least, we have the worry drill, the split hand drill, which gets your hands in front of you and stop hitting hooks. Before we let you go, we simply want to remind you to like and subscribe to Golf Admin's channel and make sure to follow us on social media as we've got more quality golf content coming your way. And if you need any more expert tips or product recommendations, you can always trust Golf Avenue. I've been Lou. I've been Nick Draws. See, See you next time. time.